In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a new project in Final Cut Pro 10. This video is aimed at you if you are a beginner or new to Final Cut Pro 10 and wanna learn more about events, libraries, and projects. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're here in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you're new to Final Cut Pro 10, it can seem a little bit complicated to create a new project. What do you do? You know, if you're in Microsoft Word, it's fairly simple. You press File, New, and you're good to go. In Final Cut Pro 10, there are a few more things that you need to understand to create a project the right way, and I'm gonna show you now. So we're gonna go to File and New, and you'll see we have a few options here. You've got Project, which is grayed out, Event, which is grayed out, and Library, which is available. So I'm going to give you an analogy to explain what these things mean essentially. So a library is like your house, okay, and within the house you have rooms of course, and your events are like those rooms. They're where you store your different things like your, you know, your bathroom and your kitchen. So your events could be a trip to Paris, that could be one event, and the next event could be a Germany trip. Maybe you took a European holiday and you had one day in one place and another day in another place. So these are two events but they're inside the same library. They're two rooms inside the same house. And then a project is like your home office. This is where you're going to piece all of these things together and create your single project from maybe multiple events. Okay, so now we've got that we're going to go to File, New and Library. And then I've created a folder on an external SSD. And I do recommend you use an external SSD because not only does it save space on your Mac's hard drive, but it also speeds things up for Final Cut Pro as well. So I'm gonna call this European Holiday, for example. We're gonna click OK and save. And then you get this little box here on the right hand side. And what you wanna do first of all is just make sure that media and cache are stored in your library. Otherwise, they could be stored on maybe a different hard drive or your computer's internal hard drive, which you don't really want. So if that's OK. We're going to click OK on there. And now we can create our events. So you can do this a couple of ways. You can press File, New, and Event. But I like keyboard shortcuts, so I would do Option and N. You then have, I'm gonna click automatic settings because this is what would normally come up if you're using Final Cut for the first time. So let's call this the Paris trip. Okay, so this is a new event. And of course you can change these settings, but just for, you know, if you're a beginner, this is gonna make it so much easier. So we've got our Paris trip. I'm gonna click okay. And you can see on the left hand side here, we have our European holiday and we've got an event called Paris Trip. So you could go in and you could add more events to this. And then you would, of course, store your footage in those events. So now I'm gonna to go to the magic part and this is Project. So you can press Command and N or you can go to File, New and Project. And here is where you can change your settings as well. So I'm gonna call this my European Holiday, for example. And you can see I've got 4K. Of course, if your camera films in HD, choose that. I've got a 4K camera, so I'm choosing 4K. And then I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to put that inside the Paris trip. But of course, you may want a separate event, which is like your, your project to store this in. I'm going to put it in there for today. And you can see I've got European holiday. Now I'm going to import media. And this is where you would import your footage from your SD card. In my case, I'm going to import it from just an external hard drive. I've got some footage of when I went to Cornwall recently. So you can see I've got a few clips. I'm just going to select two or three of these just to show you how this is done. Oh, let's just uh, go to the bottom there. Let's just import these three clips. Now, in another video, I'm going to go over these settings here on the right hand side. You know, should you copy to library? Should you leave the files in place? Should you analyze the video? These are all things that just make a difference to how Final Cut Pro works and some of these things speed up or slow down your workflow. But uh, make sure you keep subscribed to the channel because I'll show you exactly how those things work. But essentially today all we're going to do is click Import Selected. And as you can see we've got our clips here, we're inside our European holiday and if we get a Paris trip you can see we've got these things here. So we're inside this event here, it's created a new event here and I'm just going to call this you can see I did that by double clicking on it. So if you do have a blank event, if Final Cut has created an event for you, you can call this whatever you want. So I'm going to call this the Cornwall Day, like so. 
and this is what I'll be using for the main project. So essentially you can press I and O to mark your in and out points on a clip and then you're going to start putting your footage together like so. And essentially now if you're new to Final Cut I'm just going to leave it here for today because essentially you've now created your library, your events and your project and you now have some clips in your timeline and that's how you create a project in Final Cut Pro 10. So there we go, I hope that's helped you start your new projects in Final Cut Pro 10. Now in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use keywords to really enhance your workflow. So make sure you stick around for that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.